Hey guys, what's going on? It's Adam back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to y'all how to not look dumb at the self-serve car wash. Because I know we've all been there, honestly. You know, when you go there your first, second, or even third time, and you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what all the different buttons mean, you don't know how to properly wash your car and effectively so that it's clean and all the dirt is actually taken off of it. So in this video, I'm going to be telling y'all how to do that. I'm going to go through all the steps to make sure that your car looks beautiful and clean and now for starters guys i'm going to tell you you're probably going to want a pair of shoes i know these are ugly don't flame me but these ones are for some reason really good at not getting wet and then i also have this leaf blower right here so that's to dry out like all the water's going to get stuck in there to get the water out of there water out of here you know water in that gets stuck in there to get all that out help dry the rims and everything and then i also have a set of gloves because you know your hands right now it's about 30 degrees out or even probably 28 so Freezing guys, absolutely frigid. And because it's winter right now, I would recommend getting yourself some sort of spray wax. And then also, of course, you need a drying towel. This is an auto fiber dreadnought, I believe. Now, obviously, guys, you don't need you know the expensive microfiber towel. You don't need the spray wax, you don't need the gloves. It's just a little helpful tip, you know, to make sure that you guys can wash your car as effective as possible. Now, as you guys can tell, I mean my car is absolutely trash. I mean, look at you know. This is probably the worst it's been. As you guys can also see, I mean, look at the exhaust tips. They are absolutely mutilated. The GT logo, I mean, this car has seen some better days. Now this is my Mustang GT. I usually wash it, you know, once a week at least, but I haven't washed it in about three weeks because it's been winter and extraordinarily cold, snowing, you know, raining every single day. And about two days ago, I just took a 10 hour road trip in it on top of a mountain where there's a bunch of salt and it was flurrying the whole time. So it is absolutely decimated, but let's get right into this guys. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I just bought it. It's $4 for five minutes. All right guys, so for the first step, you wanna make sure that you got most of the dirt off of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna press the pre-soak button. It might be different, you know, for every single one, but for the most times it's gonna be pre-soak. And if you guys are also wondering, you know, what is my qualification to be telling you guys this information, I am a certified professional detailer. That's what I do full time. I'm a mobile detailer. You know, that's how I got this beauty of a Stang right here. So we're going to take this pressure washing wand. We're going to take this pressure washing wand right here and we're going to wait till it suds up like that. And then you just want to, you know, spray down all the body panels of your car real nice. All right guys, now the pre-soak is done in the car. You wanna let that soak for just a little bit, not too long, but just a few seconds, 10 seconds. And then you wanna come back over here and hit the high pressure soap. So that's gonna, you know, turn on high pressure mode, as you can see. And then you wanna wait till it definitely gets into the soap. And then you're just gonna spray off all this beautiful dirt here. And if you guys don't wanna do this because it's too cold or something like that, just telling you guys, it's currently like 28 degrees out. I am freezing right now, like absolutely, you know, shiver me timbers, like it, it's insane. But you all want to just take the pressure washing on, and then once you have the wand like this, Because you guys are not cleaning the car with like an actual mitt or some sort of soap mitt, you guys need to know that it all depends on just how close to the actual paint you're bringing the pressure washer. So when you're doing it, you want to have it like maybe, I mean you can't really actually see this, but you know like a solid foot, a solid foot or so away from the actual paint because if you're just super far away, it's not going to actually wash off any of the dirt. So you guys need to make sure you're getting really close to the paint to make sure that you're getting all the dirt off. So yeah, you guys can just watch how I do it. Follow along with the video and your guys' car will come out looking beautiful.
All right, guys, now you want to come over here and you want to do the high pressure rinse. So that's going to change, you know, of course, the soap into just straight water so that you're going to be able to really rinse off all that soap and then you'll be able to dry the car. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to get started. Now the car is going to be all washed and we got to go to the drying stage. So, also, if you guys want to check if your car paint is clean, which mine definitely is, if you rub your finger across here and it's, you know, smooth, you don't feel much, then that's usually how you know it is clean. So, obviously, there's still going to be a little bit of dirt left over, like right there. Still a little bit of dirt, but... So, now, guys, you want to take your leaf blower or your super air chamois, like this car wash is pretty good. It actually has one. And like that, you just use that and it just dries everything. But now, but now you just want to go around the car and you know dry all these cracks. All right, now as you guys can tell, there's almost nothing left of my battery, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So now guys, once all your cracks and your mirror and your emblems are all blown out and your hands are completely frozen together, now you want to use a good old spray wax like this. I use ice shield and shield, okay. I use ice seal and shine. This stuff is pretty good, you know, for a Walmart or even an advanced auto parts brand. Now personally, I prefer Gion or something like PS, but this stuff honestly does the job, you know what I'm saying? So, so to apply a spray wax like this or a spray sealant, you just want to make sure you shake it up really good. And on a panel like this, this is a big old panel, you can see it from these gaps right there, and right there, and up there. You just want to make sure you spray it once good right there, like that, like that, and something a little bit smaller like a door. You want to do one good one, one good one, hit it on the window, hit it on the windshield, and then one good spray like that. So, you know, you don't want to use too much of a liberal amount, but definitely enough so that it coats everything. Usually the rule of thumb is about two sprays per panel dry all this off and I'll get right back to you guys alrighty guys so as y'all can see the car is now washed and it is all dried so when you do dry I highly recommend that you guys put on some sort of gloves because you know when your towel gets all wet and you're drying off the car it, it's very hard to not get extraordinarily cold and like you have hypothermia so just a, little, just a little pointer for you guys but I have genuinely not seen this car be this clean in a long time my spray wax gave it a great shine and hopefully it protected it real good so that's all you can ask for if you guys did learn something from this video please make sure to like and subscribe it really helps the channel if you have any extra questions make sure to drop them in the comment section down below i hope i wasn't talking too fast in this video either it's super cold and when it's cold out you know it just makes me talk fast for some reason so i will see you guys in the next video what's this people Please also check out my other videos. You know, I've been dropping some bangers recently. So if you guys do enjoy those, you know, maybe it'll add something to your life. So hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.